So just very briefly, um, when we think about balancing the objective and the subjective, uh, we're going to start with goals, right? We're going to start by thinking about what it is that we want for society, right? So we, we humans, right, we have a perspective, we have preferences, um, and these are going to be subjective. And Stone tells us that's okay. Um, most of the time that we engage in policy analysis, just as an example, um, we are going to be doing so embedded in a context and surrounded by values. Um, so whether you are working for a, a think tank or a policy research firm, or you're working in government uh, in the office of a, a senator, you're going to be centered in some set of values, right? If it's if it's an environmental research organization, uh, they're probably going to believe that protection of the environment is very important. Um, and that's going to be the starting point, right? That's going to be the 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 goals that, of that organization. And so that is going to be the perspective from which your analysis comes. Um, if you're uh, working with a senator, just as an example, um, that senator is probably going to be a Democrat or a Republican, and they're going to have some, some values, and they're going to have some views about what society should be like. And so they're going to ask you to come up with policy solutions to bring the world closer to their version, right? their vision of what society should be. And so naturally, this is going to be very subjective, and that's okay. Our job, however, really should be to try to articulate those, those goals as clearly as possible. Most humans will generally agree that equity or efficiency or security or liberty are good things, um, but they may have different ideas about what those terms mean. And it's those disagreements that most often are going to lead to kind of political battles. Um, and so by identifying our desired end states um, and, and articulating them as clearly as possible, we're eliminating ambiguity. Um, and we're going to set ourselves up for very successful analysis. So that's what I'm gonna ask you to do for this assignment. You're gonna choose some issue that you care about and you're just going to uh, explain what your societal goal for that issue is. Um, this will be a normative statement um, and that's what I'm asking you for. Um, but you should explain why you think your goal is the appropriate end state for society. Um, try to justify it a little bit. Uh, you do not have to get into a lot of detail about how you'll go about that. You're just going to identify what it is you want for society, and this will be the starting point for our analysis.